Perfect. All right, guys. So once again, my name is Max Garza the Third. I'm the CEO of a and CEO of a couple of different companies. We have a AI Financial Services Insurance, and we also have uh, Shop My Kilowatts and their Solar Division, Nikki Lou Solar Rescue, uh, just to name a few of the companies that that I personally own and run. But as I tell everybody uh, on these conference calls, everybody r literally can never have enough money to help their communities, to help 501c3 nonprofits, to basically change the world, right? Because the more funds you have, the more you can help your family members, the more you can give out scholarships, the more you can help 501c3s, uh, you name it, right? So I, I tell a lot of people, there's a lot of good you can do by working online, by being a marketer, by literally selling a product or helping people understand a concept. Because in reality, guys, what we do is very simple. What we do is we're, we're consultants, right? We basically go out and people tell us what they're looking for uh, or, or what they, they want to purchase. And we put the information in front of them to make a sound decision. So that being said, today, what we're going to be focusing on is obviously learning how to market online. Because what happens is a lot of people ask me, hey, well, how do you get so many leads? You know, how do you get the information in front of people? You're always busy. You're always working. And I tell them I automate my marketing and I know, I know where I'm strong uh, as far as marketing and I know where I'm weak. So literally guys, what, what you can do with this type of marketing is you can apply it to any business. Now, what I tell people is literally when you apply these concepts as an example to, to, plus, to the uh, plus profit marketing system, it, it really amplifies because we don't have to teach anybody how to use a debit or credit card. They do it on a daily basis. They do it unconsciously. They don't even think about it. There, there's no, there's no uh, thinking as far as, hey, how do, how do I swipe a, a debit or credit card? We do, it, we do it every day when we put gas, when we buy food, when we pay our electricity bills, our cable, internet, you name it. So when we're talking financial services, it's just a concept that everybody totally understands, except that we've never been in a position where we can get cash back and, uh, and we can also, and we can also actually share in the revenue. And guys, if you have a, uh, if you have background noise, just mute your phone out. And if you have a question at any point in this uh, webinar, you can always unmute yourself. I, I like to leave the lines open because this is, uh, this webinar is only for a select few on our team. So just uh, so everybody knows, you can always mute and unmute if you got questions. Thank you. Um, so yeah, guys. That being said. Now the concept is great, but what happens when a lot of you run out of people that you can talk to organically, right? Uh, that's where marketing is very valuable because literally you can start putting that information in front of hundreds of thousands, hundreds of millions of people on a daily basis and automate it. Automation is an amazing tool because it allows you to compress time and information and it allows you to reach out to only the people that are interested. Because as an example, if, if you're just reaching out to a hundred people, and you don't know who's interested, there's no point in you spending all that time, you know, whether it's daily, weekly, or monthly, if they're not showing any interest. Does that make sense, guys? Oh, yes. Okay, perfect. So literally what you see in front of you right now, can everybody see my screen? Can everybody see my Facebook page? Mm-hmm. Okay, so as you can see, this is my personal page. Uh, obviously, I have 4,999 friends. It fluctuates between 5,000 and 499 .99. Uh, on a daily basis, because I have so many people that request me and I delete people, add them, delete people, add them. If I find value in them, I add them. If they're funny, I add them. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, one thing I'll tell you is it's very rare that I post any business type postings on my personal page, right? This is my personal page. This is who I am. I mean, obviously, if you just look at the quote and we can fall in love in one day, anything can happen in just one day. Gail Form, uh, Foreman. Um, literally, I'm big into motivating people to understand that they can go above and beyond what everybody else has labeled them as, because too many people start believing that their past defines their future. So when it comes to motivation, I, I am a big proponent of, hey, if you give somebody the support and training and you're patient and, and you're loving, they can accomplish anything. Because too many times in our lives, people are what? They downgrade us. Uh, they tell us we can't do something. They tell us that we're crazy. And guys, the reason why they do that is because we are an uncommon breed. People that are involved in online marketing or sales or direct sales or whatever you want to call it, right? We're an uncommon breed. We're, we're not the nine to five thinkers. We're thinking about building something bigger, better, you know, saving the world, helping others. And, and so that's what makes us really different. But as you can tell, I'll just show you real quick. Literally, 
you know, here's a couple of pictures. That's my sister. These are our dogs. Uh, you know, I post videos. At, and if you look at my, my personal page, you always find videos of funny videos, dogs, uh, motivation, working out, you name it, right? So literally, guys, as you can tell, I mean, do you see anything about plus profit? No, right? That's my sister waiting for Uber. I was making fun of her this morning. So every time she's waiting for Uber, she's, she looks like that pretty much. So as you can tell, guys, you know, my personal page, I use it as that, my personal page. Now, what I do do is I do recommend, does, before we go any further, does everybody on this marketing webinar right now have a Facebook page, like a personal Facebook? Oh, yes. Yes. So Wendy, yes. Yes. Yeah, oh, sure, absolutely. Yeah. Everybody, is there any? Is there any? Uh, maybe I should ask: Is there anybody on this webinar that is not on Facebook? Is pretty much everybody on Facebook? I think okay. So since yeah. nobody's saying that they don't have one, I'm I'm going to assume we're going to go with the assumption that everybody on this webinar, all nine people, have a Facebook page. And the reason why I'm asking is. Because if you don't have a Facebook page, it's really easy to start a Facebook page. But what I'm gonna show you today is, so obviously you see my personal page, right guys? So now what I'm gonna show you is I also have pages where I market on, right? Mm -hmm. So my full name is Valdemar Maximo Garza Alvarado III. And if you wanna wow. build multiple Facebook pages, you can break it up and, and kind of use your nickname uh, you know, do a variation of your name. So if you look at this, this right here is an automated. So while I'm sleeping, my system is automating. Uh, my system is automating the marketing. So you see how my name, my for my secondary Facebook page, you see how it's my middle name and my last name. Does everybody see that? Mm -hmm. So everybody can start a secondary page to market on, right? And on this page, what you want to do is you want to uh, connect with people that are like-minded, maybe business owners, people that are home-based business type people, uh, you know, put some content on there because obviously content is very important. It, it just ranks you higher, especially when you're posting pictures. Anything with pictures will rank higher because obviously people are visual, right? So as you can tell, you know, in my, in my marketing, I'm always, a, I, I'm always a person that posts pictures. Why? Because when people, when people actually go to Facebook, they don't just want to read like, you know, novels of information. They actually want to see some pictures, right? Or as you can tell, um, let's say, let's say that they are trying to figure out, well, you know, what is this, what is this plus profit thing, right? So they're able to read, as you can tell right here, just this one picture, the plus profit ASW MasterCard user benefit. No credit check, 100% MasterCard will send to you, no overdraft fees, no late fees, no interest fees, virtual bank account, zero liability, safer than cash. I mean, you want to talk about just a brief synopsis to get some people's juices flowing. That right there will get, get them flowing. Now, below here, Plus Profit ASW MasterCard offers the most generous cash back rewards, everyday discounts, uh, other than any other debit or prepaid card in the world. And if you look, guys, this top card right here, if everybody can everybody see this uh, gray American Standard Wallet MasterCard? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We see it. Okay. So this is the domestic MasterCard that we'll be getting. Now, for those countries like uh, England and Korea, where EMV technology is integrated right now as we speak, they're they'll be getting this Tiger one, which I'm going to request the Tiger one because I want a Tiger. And uh, if you see this little chip right here, that's that's the EMV chip. It's it's called an IC integrated circuit chip. So basically the reason why companies are adopting this technology is because it's, it's a lot more safe. Uh, and as an example, those, those countries like Korea and England have a lot of fraud, right? So all countries in the future will be adopting this EMV technology. But in the meantime, this is what they'll be receiving. They'll, they'll be receiving this American Standard Wallet EMV uh, uh, chip MasterCard, and then we'll receive this one. Now, if you are traveling, as an example, if you're going to travel to Korea or if you're going to travel to uh, England, you can request one of these cards for you. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. In, in fact, Europe has had these cards for mm, well over 15 years. 
Correct. Well, obviously, yeah. as everybody knows, technology like this is always adopted overseas first, and then we're we're a little bit slower to adopt the technology. But we are set up with the American Standard Wallet. We're set up to not only have EMV technology, but also when cryptocurrency becomes more of a conversation that Americans are going to, you know, partake and internalize, then these cards are already set up to be able to take that cryptocurrency in. So that's a conversation we'll have at a later time. So obviously, guys, as you see, right, I'm posting every day. And what do you see down here? Somebody's asking for what? More info. Why? Because this content and the pictures, obviously, uh, they appeal to her. So do I know this lady? No, I do not. This is the first time I've ever seen her comment on any of my posts. But literally, I reached out to her, and she's super excited, right? So again, does everybody understand how you can, you can use multiple Facebook pages to market on? Because ultimately, guys, what you want your personal page is you want it as a relationship builder. And if you're just posting business stuff on your, on your personal page, then people will obviously shy away from making connections with you. Does that make sense? How do you get somebody from your personal page, if you post something, right, to get them to go over to the business page and get them to take a look? Uh, well, we'll discuss. I'm going to show you how to actually maximize your personal page, and we'll go into that Great. right now after I just show you these examples. Super. Okay. But remember that question because that's a very important question, and literally we're going to, we're going to delve into that pretty deeply today. Okay. So this is one of my – now you understand how I market outside of – uh, you know, Facebook uh, outside my personal page, but now let's go to this one. So this is, you see how on this Facebook profile, my name is Max Garza, right? So obviously this is for my solar company and I put an ad, right? I put some pictures because why do we, why do we put pictures guys? Because they draw more people, right? Exactly. A picture or video, it's always going to draw more people. Uh, Google's going to pick it up, and it's always going to be more powerful. It's going to rank higher. Yeah, absolutely right, right. Wendy. Absolutely right. But again, remember that humans, we're very visual creatures. So if you saw these pictures, right, and, and let's say you were interested in solar, what would you do? You'd be like, hey, I wonder what's going on. Because if you read this ad, I mean, it's very short and sweet, right? Every three minutes, someone does the running man because their light bill is way cheaper. That's a joke. Some people are very, you know, they love jokes. Uh, why wait? Get solar power savings now. Or you can get a 30% federal uh, tax credit. I'm asking a question. I'm a question-based marketer, right? Take advantage of the ITC before the government takes it away. Obviously, I, call to action is what? You have to put a call to action in all your marketing guys. Call mm -hmm. us for a free quote and see what solar can do for you. Dial, I put my number, click below to take a free tour. Now, guys, write this note down. If you have a notepad or if you have notes on your phone, write this note down. Every time you market, you have to give a call to action. Because if you're just posting content, then people don't know how to apply <coughs> what you're asking them to do. So just put this note. Always put a call to action. Call to action meaning maybe they click and call you. Maybe they click on a funnel page. Uh, and that way you can, you can actually uh, get their information and contact them back. But without a call to action, how, how are they supposed to know what you want them to do? Does that make sense? Oh, yes. Anybody have any questions about how I set this marketing uh, ad copy up? Because literally this is, this right here is short and sweet, but I have two calls to, calls to action, not one, I have two. Does that, does that make sense, guys? Does anybody have any questions on, on why we do calls to action? No, get them involved. Got to get everybody involved. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, so obviously, you know, like I tell you, I automate my marketing, right? But I create a list. So if you see that when they click there and I'll show you right now what my funnel page looks like on this one, I'll show you what both my funnel pages look like. So you can just see, but whenever you create a list, now you have people that are opting in. It's called opt-in marketing. Opt-in marketing is more powerful uh, than any other form of marketing because these people are giving you permission to market to them. They might not be ready right here and right now, but they're interested. And interested is way better than not knowing who out there wants to, uh, you know, purchase your product, uh, get your service, you know, maybe consult with you because you have a certain uh, a specialized knowledge that they, they need to make a decision on a topic, right? So if we look below... I 
I had a lady, she, uh, in Spanish, she said, quiero información, me interesa. Basically, she's telling me, hey, I want information. I'm interested in this. So as you can tell, she liked, she liked my content. So can everybody see where Olga actually liked the post? Does, there, does everybody see that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The reason why I'm asking you if you see that is because once somebody interacts with your post, you're not, you're, what, your main goal, your main objective is to hit them back and tell them, hey, thank you very much for liking my post. As an example, you could, just so you see what I tell people, I told her, I use her name, right? So it goes, so when, whenever you do an at sign and then their name, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pop up in their news feed. It's a direct message to them, basically. So I said, thank you for liking our Facebook post. Get more information on how solar power can drop your electricity costs every month and an, ex an explanation of how you can qualify for the federal 30% investment tax credit. Uh, call us, again, call to action, right, this month and get a free solar system quote and all your questions answered. So you see, guys, even when I responded to her, I still put a call to action, right? And then since she, since she answered in Spanish, I wrote back in Spanish. Because I speak Spanish now. Now, if you don't speak Spanish, you can call me and we'll try and figure something out. To, you know, obviously I'm plus profit. If they're answering in Spanish, you put them on the phone with me and I'll I'll uh, answer all their questions for you. So you have an asset in place that not only speaks English and Spanish, but with Doc in NYC, now we have somebody who speaks Italian, Russian. I mean, you name it. We'll figure something out to get to you. So does everybody see how again? Easy text, right? It's not like I'm writing a novel here. Picture. And boom, what happens? We oh, get a lead. Right. We get a qualified lead. This is a lady that's interested. She's telling me, hey, get me the info. I am interested in this. Mm -hmm. does, it, does everybody see how powerful this is? Ooh, yes. Yep. Okay. So now let me show you what the actual, when they click on it. So this is, guys, this is called a funnel page. This is a squeeze page, a sales page. So obviously they see the picture of the house, right? With the solar panels, it looks very clean. And then it's got a, it's got a nice little tagline, save up to 65% off your electricity bills with solar power. And then it's very simple. They put their first name, last name, email, mobile phone number, and boom, they can take a tour. You see that? You see how aesthetically the picture is pleasing? It's nice and simple. Not too, not too much as far as content. Now let me show you. Let me show you what the funnel page looks like for Plus Profit. This one is working like a charm because it's got video in it. And remember, guys, if you need help, if you need help setting up, you know, your funnel pages, I'm going to give you resources today where you can actually use them. And you can try it out, you know, for seven days. And if you like it, obviously you can you can start using the tools we use uh, to automate our marketing. Because literally, with automation, this thing gets a lot easier. If you're gonna be if you're gonna be an online marketer, you need these tools to win. So as you can tell, here is the plus profit uh, English review for 2016, right? And then right below it, I have a video that describes why, you know, obviously we managed by banks for decades and decades, and literally all these publications, Wall Street Journal, Department of Justice, I mean, you name it, right? literally it just shows you why banks will always, I mean, they'll, they'll literally always try to name it, nickel and dime, they'll nickel and dime us, but they'll make a lot of money off things like NSF fees, APRs, and they will never, ever, ever, and I'll say it again, never, ever, ever profit with And then at the bottom, they can take a number, right? First name, last name, email, mobile device, and boom, they click on that. They take a tour. They can connect with the Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram. YouTube. So if they click on any of these, let's say they click on YouTube. There we go. So, 
So literally, they go to my YouTube channel. Make six figures with no college degree. You see how easy that is, guys? Like, like now, people can connect with us on our social media site. And all we did was create a funnel page so people can get the information they need. I mean, look at these videos. I just uploaded these a couple of days ago. 27 views, 32 views, 38, 29, 10. Uh, and literally, these are all people that are interested in what? Finding out more information about what we're trying to show them. So now, does everybody understand why we're using automation uh, to get information in front of people, but it, more importantly, why we're building a list, an opt-in marketing list of people that want your info. Does everybody understand that? Oh, yes. Yeah. Do, does anybody have any questions about that? Because ultimately, if you've never used a funnel and you've never created a list, it's okay. I didn't know about this when I first got started, but I noticed that a lot of people were making a lot of money in different programs and they were always traveling. I was like, well, how are they traveling? But they're always posting and they always have people no matter what business they're in. I thought it was very unique, right? And then literally I took some courses. I went to a bunch of seminars. I asked questions. Uh, I, I got a mentor like Ray Higdon, David Sharp. Uh, oh and I asked God. questions. I asked questions oh. to the Lord. Why? Because these guys were just like all of us at one point. They didn't know how to market. It. They had That's to right. ask questions. And the thing is, they all build lists. They, if, if you look at any top six, seven, eight figure earner, they all have an automation strategy in place and they absolutely all have funnel pages. They all have autoresponders and they all do marketing on all these mediums, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, you name it. They, they all focus on a couple. They get really good at a couple, right? But they always put content out there because content marketing is king. So now, now you've seen how we get these different, everybody know. so does everybody know how to start a Facebook profile? Obviously all of y'all are on Facebook, right? So everybody knows how to get a profile, correct? Oh yeah. Okay. So because all of y'all already have a Facebook profile, remember you can always start a secondary or tertiary uh, a Facebook page so that you can use those to market, right? Because literally those aren't your personal page. And you can still connect with people, right? But literally, it's on a different level. So now that you've seen, you know, just a, a sneak peek of how we market, let me show you something real quick. So I use an autoresponder, right? So literally, as I'm sleeping, my autoresponder is cranking out ads all over Facebook. So as an example, if I went to details, right? And literally, guys, you'll get links to all this. Anybody that really wants to learn how to automate their marketing, that's what we're here for. So if you look at this, guys, these are all the groups in Facebook that I'm marketing in uh, this past, like in the past 24 hours. See all that? All that's automated. Literally, the system, the system is, is working for me. And look at all that. I was asleep. I was asleep when all this was occurring. Everybody see that? And then so if I go to, let me just show you something real quick. These are all my, destin, uh, all my destination lists. Why? You always want to, so whenever, whenever you start marketing on Facebook and in groups, you can join about 15 to 25 groups a day right and if you join if you try and join too many they'll put you in facebook jail right they'll they'll stop you uh they'll ask they'll ask for verification to see if you're not a robot but i tell people you're pretty safe joining you know 15 to 25 groups a day uh if you want to be ultra conservative you can do 10 to 15 groups a day and, and you want to join groups that are, are specific to what you're trying to accomplish right so if let's say that you you're a home-based marketer then you want to look for groups like home-based business owners uh, work from home mom um you know any any group that's no rules because obviously you can advertise in those advertise your business uh there's so many there's so many groups out there that you can post in uh and as an example so as you can tell literally i break these up into groups of 99 or 125 so i tell everybody to be safe i always try and stick between 99 and 125 posts per facebook page per day Right, so I give it about 24 or 40 hours before I crank it up again, and uh, the reason why I do that is because then I fly under the radar with Facebook, and they don't 
they don't throw me in Facebook jail. Now, that's not to say that you'll never be thrown in Facebook jail because somebody could just, you know, be having a bad day and they don't like your content. Uh, they could, you know, they could flag your, your, um, your postings. It happens, right? But you'll be blocked for like two, three days, you know, seven days, nothing big. Um, but does everybody see how I have it blocked off where I'm not just posting the same groups over and over and over? Does everybody see that? Can I get an amen? Yeah, we got it, Matt. We got it. Okay. Amen, um, brother. <laughs> and you said you're going to make the, this available to us. Correct. I'm going to show you the links that I use, obviously. So one of the things that I'll teach everybody also is, you know, obviously as everybody's coming into Plus Profit, uh, when I show you these links, a lot of these, a lot of these uh, software companies, a lot of these companies that I partner with strategically, uh, they're, they're not MLM type companies uh, or, or direct sales. They're just more like affiliate companies, right? Because they're software companies. So they'll even allow us to make a little money uh, off of people using their software. So as an example, if you're coming in to plus profit and there's a certain hierarchy, we'll try and keep that so that everybody that uses this software makes some money. Because ultimately, my goal is to show you how to make money, right? I don't want everybody using my link because uh, I want everybody to benefit from this knowledge and from these strategic partnerships that I have. So, yeah, B, everybody will get the information. And as everybody wants to adopt it, if let's say I came in under B and B adopts this technology, then I sign up under B because obviously he gets a referral commission from the software company. Does that make sense, B? Definitely. No problem. Okay. Perfect. All right, so obviously, guys, and let me just show you, these are all the campaigns that I've been running. So as you can tell, I mean, I run all the freaking time. Okay, so does anybody have any questions on how a autoresponder promotes for you automatically? Any questions on that part? Wendy? I know you're an online marketer. I'm pretty sure you, you love the fact that you can automate your marketing. No, I, I love that. And, and you did say that you were going to go into later, um, how do we do a cool post on our personal page that doesn't look cheesy, you know not, what I mean? Not necessarily marketing. your personal page. You're going to start a business page on your personal profile. Right. I get that. Okay. I'm just saying, how do we drive traffic to that personal profile? Well, um, do you see no, or not? No, actually to the business page. In other words... You, you got your personal page, you got all your friends and family on there, and, you know, other marketers, whatever. Um, but you're trying to get them to go to the Plus Profit page. Correct. That's what I'd love some training on. Okay, so so obviously if you're doing that, you, you have a thing called Messenger, correct? Oh, yes. Okay, so let me show you something real quick. So let's say that... Um, Let's say as an example, Wendy, you, you want to drive people that you know personally to your business page, right? Mm -hmm. So for me, this is, my, this is one of my, because I have a lot of them, this is one of my business pages within my personal profile. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. Okay, so let me just show you something. Okay, so I have 4,450 people that like my business page, right? Mm. I have my post now, do you do advertising? Are you advertising on no. this page? Or no, this, I'm not. Really? Well, wow. I'm not, I'm not, listen, I'm not doing Facebook advertising. I'm advertising how I'm going to show you, but I'm not paying money to advertise. So anyway, this week, just so you can see, the post reach so far is 966. Post engagements, 14 people have liked, commented, shared, you name it. And mm -hmm. uh, one person this week has shopped and bought something. So mm. when it comes to plus profit, it's a little different because you, you really can't shop. But, you know, obviously people are clicking on other links that I have on here. So as you can tell, look, I, I put motivation type stuff, right? So as an example, you know, I like motivating people because if you can motivate somebody to accomplish something great, then you're doing a good job. And you never know what what picture, what message might just, awaken a sleeping giant so i'm a big proponent of motivating others and then okay, i just got like a really big nugget um in other words you don't want to necessarily do a plus profit page you want to do like a all-encompassing kind of business page correct i mean 
so the strategy, Wendy, is you can have a hyper specific page, but then you pigeonhole mm-hmm. yourself into just putting comment about that one business. Got that. Oof. So if you pigeonhole yourself, because a lot of people, as an example, let me give you a big example about Doc, right? So Carolina, Mm -hmm. she she writes books. Uh, She's got two PhDs. She teaches people Mm -hmm. how to speak Spanish, Mm -hmm. uh, English, Italian, you name it. She she's a polyglot. She knows a lot of languages, but she's Mm -hmm. also a business a business lady, right? So if she Mm -hmm. only if she only posted about teaching, as an example, Spanish on a business page then that's all she would be able to post on that page because it's ultra hyper-specific, right? But as an example, look at the title of my business page. What does it say? Oof. It is, uh, is it Shop Kilowatts? Is no. I, no, right that, that's look the top the, of. Look at the cursor. Yep. Make six figures with no college degree. Oh, man, you don't know what you just taught me. This is, th- that's big. That's big. But that's does that huge. make sense now? Does that make sense that you don't want to pigeon your whole, no, like if you it, pigeonhole it makes, yourself it into It makes one? like such major sense. Yeah. If, if I could only tell you how many business pages I have, it's embarrassing, honestly. Well, I mean, now that we I all, learned this, I mean, but Wendy, oh, I'm the, the thing is, I feel a lot humiliated, of us, to be honest. <laughs> no, 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 no. At least you're wow. trying to market. At least you're trying to market. That, that's the beautiful thing. The beautiful thing is you're trying, but you won't learn until you try. So I applaud you, Wendy. I applaud the fact that you're trying to learn how to market. It's just these concepts. Look, I have a ton of business pages myself. But then after I started, you know, learning from these guys who make a lot of money, then I started really realizing, well, instead of trying to update 10 pages, why don't I just get one and update people on the things that can make the money? I mean, think about it. Doesn't it make more sense? Dang, guy. Yes. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And then you mentioned Ray Higdon. I'm done. I'm like, I'm so into this. I'm like, I'm sick. Okay. Great. Good stuff. So obviously, does does anybody have any questions on how – setting up a business page right a fan page inside of your personal profile because again you can invite all your personal friends to uh like your page there's nothing wrong with that right because some people will like it some people won't but they'll get a lot of information i mean if if, i tell people all the time if if they want to follow your your business it's a great way to find marketing partners it's a great way to find people that might purchase your products, your services. Why? Because you never know. Like if I didn't share this, how would I have known that 4,450 people would like my page, right? I would have never known unless I shared it. Does that make sense? Hello? Yeah. Okay. So obviously now everybody understands that one of the, one of the first things they're going to do is what? Start a fan page slash business page on their personal profile. Does everybody understand that? Does anybody have any questions on that? Oh, no. No? Does everybody know how to do that? No. No? Who's that? Who said no? Carolyn. Carolina. Yeah. I just You're got away, in girl. here because I didn't ha- I I was wishing, I was trying to get the sound working and then I just figured I'd just call. Yeah, you can call in. All right, Carolina. So look, let me show you. So, do you are you by a computer right now? Yeah, I'm looking at the screen, but before it was all silent. <laughs> okay, so so obviously, if you want to start your own business page inside of Facebook, you already have a personal page. But what I what I recommend is just a recommendation: is you never want to just blast your personal page with business postings because then people will shy away from doing business with you. You want to start a separate fan page or business page inside of your personal profile, and that's where you educate people on what you do. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So here, when we click on home, this is basically our home screen. Okay. So as we go down, at the very bottom, when you click on your home screen, you're going to see things like interests, event, developers. You know, you can create an event, friends, apps, groups. Pages. Do you see all that, Carolina? Yeah. Okay. So right here where it says pages, you can go to create page. And you are off to the races. If you're a local business or place, you can uh, 
be very niche specific. If you want to name your, like if you have an LLC or LP, right, or uh, uh, you're incorporated, you put your company, organization, or institution name. Remember, your business page can be anything, but I would recommend that it's something catchy, right? Because ultimately, like, as an example, when people uh, communicate with me and they say, hey, I was on your page about, you know, make six figures with no college degree, and I'm interested in some of those things you have on there. I, I'm not putting like the name of my energy company or the name of my financial services company because that sounds way too professional, right? And right. a lot of a lot of these people aren't very, you know, they don't want to like they 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 don't want to be employees. They want to figure out how they can make money. But if that's what you want to do, because remember these this skill set that I'm teaching you, you can you can transition that into your if you have a brick and mortar business, right? If you're a company. If, if let's say maybe you're a brand or a product, like if, if maybe you're a, a, a shirt company or a fashion design, uh, if you're a band, public figure artist, entertainment, maybe you're a 501c3, so you, you want to start a business page because you're helping to rescue animals or you work with, with uh, military nonprofits. I mean, that's, that's where you would start a page, Carolina, where it says create a page on your home, on your home screen. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I'll work with you on that. I mean, literally, when you're ready to start a page, I'll guide you step by step, right? Because oh, ultimately, oh, if you're putting yeah. information out there for people to learn about, you know, your Spanish, your Spanish books, your Spanish uh, teaching platform, your plus profit business, uh, you'll win because literally you can encompass that into one page where it's not just about one thing. You're make, you obviously want to make money on a lot of different things. And if you have, as an example, you have four pages at one time, it's exhausting. I see. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does everybody understand that, guys? Because it's very powerful. If you get this, if, if if literally you don't get anything else that I'm talking about today, if you understand how you can get one page, name it something that's attractive, and literally just spend time updating and putting content on that, people will find you, not the other way around. Max, what where do you find the content at? How do you do the content like you did on your page? Where do I get that at? How how do I do what? How do you get that content? Like you had on that paper with, uh, what's his name, the actor? Where did you get that content at? Uh, do you uh, find it on uh, on Google? or? Are you talking about this content or are you talking about picture content? Which one? No, the, the picture content that you was talking about. Yeah, how do I get that? Oh, Where would I find okay. that at? That's a great question. So let me show you. You can see my, you can see my, uh, my screen, right, Floyd? Yeah, show works. Okay, let me show you something. So that's a great question, guys. Literally, Floyd is asking, hey, how do you get the content? Because now Floyd knows how to write ad copy. He's really good at it. I'm going to go to Google.com. Write that on your notes, guys. Google.com. And I'm going to enter Plus Profit MasterCard. And guys, look at look at one of the top. I mean, literally, my old page was named I Diet Devita Weight Loss Coffee. That's my page. And look how high I'm ranking on Google. Because I have content. Look at that. I Diet Javita Weight Loss Coffee again. That's my page. And once more, I Diet Javita Weight Loss Coffee. Look at that. Another one. Do you see how I'm ranking high on Google? Yeah. Everybody, And it's just because I'm putting content out there, just what I'm teaching y'all. The reason why so many people are contacting me is because I have content that's ranking high. But now, to answer Floyd's question, I just put Plus Profit MasterCard. If I click on Images... Here's all the content, Floyd. Anything that is, is specific to Plus Profit MasterCard will show up in images on a Google search. Does that make sense? So make sure you write down google.com as, as an example. Search Plus Profit MasterCard and then click on images. And then as an example, let's say that I wanted to save this image. I would right-click it. I would go down to where it says save image as. See where it says save image as, guys? Mm -hmm. Right.
and just hit save. That's it. It's that easy. Right click, save image as. Everybody understand that? Mm-hmm. For for those of you that have a computer in front of you, I want you to do a, go to Google.com real quick. Okay. Okay. Everybody go to if you're by a computer. If you're not, it's okay. But for the people that are by a computer, just go to Google G O O G L E dot com. Mm-hmm. And then when you're on that site, just look up Plus Profit Mastercard. Three words. Plus Profit Mastercard. Do a search. Profit. So Plus Profit Mastercard. And then obviously you're going to see a bunch of content pop up, right guys? Okay. Dang. Oh my god. And when you click on images, mm-hmm. Do you see all those images available for you to put in a folder? You are like, honestly, what we just got here today is golden. This is the golden stuff. Thank oh, you yeah. so much, my Lord. Oh, no worries, guys. Look, my job is to make sure that you have weapons, right? If you have marketing weapons, you can win. Now I have a question, Max. Answer. Um, I've created a, a page on Facebook. Uh I have roughly about 4,000 plus friends. Okay. Did you, in order to get those 4,000 likes, did you go through and invite everyone as a whole to like your page, all your friends as a whole, or did you use some other type of strategy? I, I, did, it, I did it in segments, my brother. So you could sit there and invite everybody, right, in one sitting. But what I did was I broke it up into days, right? So um the reason why i do that is obviously if you hit everybody up right away they don't they don't allow you to uh invite as many but if you break it up over a couple of days then you're able to invite more than if you did it all in one sitting does that make sense yeah gotcha gotcha do you, do you know how to invite people from your page that you built yeah, yeah, I've sent out, uh, I'd say, a thousand invites, and uh, right now I'm sitting at about a hundred and forty something likes. Okay. So now another, now another strategy that I will tell y'all guys is, you can actually use Messenger. So within Messenger, what you can do is, like, for the people that you know very well, I, w- I would recommend that you say, as an example, write. If you have a pen and a piece of paper, write this down. Like, if I was reaching out to B early, right? He's my boy. I've known him for a while. Or Sandy in SoCal. I would say, hey, B, I hope you're having a fantastic day. My brother, I'm so excited because I just started a business page, and I would love for you to follow me as I learn some marketing tips and tricks. And literally, if I can ever help you with anything in the future, you can literally follow me on my business page. Why? Because I'm just asking them to follow me, right? I'm not asking them to buy anything. I'm just saying, hey, just follow my business page. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking them to join my business. I'm not asking them to buy anything. I was like, I would just appreciate it, B, because you have a good relationship with me that you follow my rise as far as I learn marketing, right? Does that make sense, B? Yeah, I get it. I get it. And I keep you know, pressing mute. I have some background noise. Hey, B, do you, do you, have, uh, you have Messenger on your phone, right? Yes, I do. I do. Okay. So, so Messenger is very powerful because it allows you to have a very concise conversation with those people that you really know. Oh, okay. Okay? And then in the future, I'll show you some techniques because obviously as we go further and further, I'm going to show you how to get people that are actually home-based business leads, people that are not tire kickers, right? People that we're not going to siphon off of Facebook groups, with people that actually are pulling out forms on a daily basis saying, hey, pick me. Pick me. I want I want something to help me make money. All right, so everybody understands how to get content now. Floyd, uh, are you there, my brother? Yes. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Now you you're gonna send you're gonna send us the recording of this. How are we gonna get the recording? I'm gonna put it on YouTube and there's gonna be a a, a code this is gonna be a private video. Okay. Okay. Thank you. But everybody oh, on great. here every, everybody That's on here will get question. a code. Yes. Yes. 
Um, you haven't done any uh, Facebook advertising? This is no. all organic? This is all organic. Now, will I do wow. Facebook, Facebook advertising in the future? Yes, of course I will. But I want yeah. to see what I can do organically first. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What in does the future, organic I mean? I'll have a hundred. I'll have a hundred thousand hits in the future. But for now, I just want to see the people that I know personally, organically, right? I want to see what their mm-hmm. interests are. Yes. Got it. And Doc, did you have a question? I think I heard you. And what is organic? Organic just means people that you run into on a daily basis, people in your community, or people that are fa- uh, Facebook friends or they follow your business. That's organic traffic. So when, uh, when we're okay. talking organic yeah. traffic, yeah. it's people that have a relationship with you or you do business with them in the community. Does that make sense, Doc? So as an example, if I had, uh, let me give you another example. If I had clients, right, customers. If I had customers and I have a relationship with them, when I market to them, that's my organic group of, uh, of traffic. In other words, this is not your pay. You you didn't pay for this advertising to come from your uh, site. No, no. Now in the future, I will pay for advertising because I'll show you how to leverage that. But in the meantime, I want to show you the basics of marketing. Hey guys, if you got some background noise, please void your phone or mute uh, your phone out. There's, there's no background noise. I, I do have to go on a I played last couple times. It's okay. Okay. All right. So everybody, pretty clear on on how to get okay, how to post on Facebook, how to start you know, a business page, and obviously know. how to get content as far as uh, pictures, images. Everybody, good on that? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, 100%. And the one thing I just want to jump um, in no, here and say one okay. thing, uh, Max, is that I really appreciate this. This is like a $1,000 plus training, and it this is. is amazing. So thank it you. Is. Literally, I charge clients to train their people to market. I charge clients on, mm-hmm. on how to build their Facebook following. And because y'all right. are doing business with us, you're, get, you're getting it for free. Unreal. That's why I'm telling you, Thank make you. sure you write notes because you're going to write notes. I'm going to give you a link to the webinar, but at the end of the day, you've got to apply this system because it works. Mm-hmm. I went to the top of my last company and literally I worked maybe two hours every other day on it. Like literally that's nothing. Six hours, maybe eight hours in a week. And I got to the top of the company just because I automated my marketing. Mm-hmm. All right, let's. Talk, let's just talk Facebook stats because I, I want everybody to have a good base on why we're talking Facebook. Okay. Hey, guys, everybody everybody, mute out your phones real quick if you're on the phone. What, what do you do that? Five, star six, nine or star five? No, just if you're on mute, if you're on, if you have it on uh, speaker, just take it off speaker. Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. All right, because I want you to get these stats. These stats are going to blow your mind. The top 20 valuable Facebook statistics, and this was updated in April 2016. The reason why everybody on here is having a conversation about Facebook is because, guys, I want you to understand, there are so many freaking users on a daily basis you can win. So let's look at the first stat. Worldwide, there are over 1.65 billion, with a B, monthly active Facebook users, which is a 15% increase year over year. That source is obviously Facebook, right? What this means for you, in case you had any lingering doubts, statistically, Facebook is too big to ignore. Now, that too, 4.5 billion likes generated daily as of May 2013, which is a 67% increase from August 2012. That three, 1.09 billion people log on to Facebook daily, uh, which represents a 16% increase year over year. The implication, a huge and vastly growing number of Facebook users are active and consistent in their visits to the site, making them a promising audience for your marketing efforts. I'll read that again. Making them a promising audience for your marketing efforts. doesn't matter if you're selling pills, potions, lotions, financial services, solar. There's people on there that will eat up your products, right? And they will literally pay you to educate them on how to get them. Stat four, there are one point 
1.51 billion mobile active users for March 2016. Guys, literally, we have a little computer in our hands now. And if you can figure out how to get the info on their, on their mobile devices, you're going to win big. On average, the like and share buttons are viewed across almost 10 million websites daily. That's ridiculous. In Europe, over 307 million people are on Facebook. Uh, this isn't just a U.S. phenomenon. A worldwide mark is available via Facebook. So for all of you that have global businesses, kind of like the plus profit, wink, wink, literally the global market is phenomenal. Age 25 to 34 at 29.7 of users is the most common age demographic. What this means for you is this is a prime target demographic for many businesses, uh, marketing efforts, and you have the change or the change to engage these uh, key consumers on Facebook. Five new profiles are created every second. Five new profiles are created every second. The implication, your potential audience on Facebook is growing exponentially. Facebook users are 76% female and 66% male. So obviously there's a lot more intelligent uh, people on Facebook than we thought, right? Because 76 of them are female. Uh, the takeaway, since this isn't a large statistical difference, you should be able to effectively reach both genders on Facebook. Highest traffic occurs midweek between 1 to 3 p.m. The reason why I wanted to read this out to you guys is because if you're going to market, the absolute best time that I market and I get more leads is between 1 and 3. And the reason why I do that is because I read it directly from Facebook, right? Right here. Highest traffic, write that down. If, if you're taking notes, the highest traffic occurs midweek between 1 and 3 p.m. So we're talking about Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay? Everybody write that down because that's very important. You want to be, so you wanna be advertising when there's actually people craving this information. Okay. So you say 1 p.m. Is that Eastern Standard Time? Uh, well, whatever time zone you're in, right? Obviously, every demographic, any whether you're on Eastern, Central, Pacific, remember all all these time zones have people that their their day normally is nine to five, right? The majority of people. So any any time zone, it doesn't matter because literally the highest traffic occurs midweek between one and three p.m. So that's a great question, but understand that. If you're on Eastern Standard Time, so 1 to 3 p.m. is when it's optimal for you to market. And like for me, that I'm Central, so is me and, and Floyd, uh, literally our time is Central, right? 1 to 3 Central Standard Time. And for all the people in SoCal, 1 to 3 Pacific Standard. And obviously in Hawaii, 1 to 3 on Hawaiian Standard Time. Does that answer your question, brother? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So... On another note, a Facebook post at 7 p.m. result in more clicks on average than posting at 8 p.m. Um, so no, write a, a, a slight little notation on there. If you're going to post at night, post at 7. Because that's when people have either already finished eating or still haven't even gotten to the dinner table. So if you're not going to post between 1 and 3, obviously you want to post at 7 p.m. Okay? So how can this help you? You have the potential to reach more consumers and drive higher traffic to your site during peak usage times but people may be more likely to be more engaged in the evening. This statistic may be a factor when you're planning social communication scheduling. Uh, and remember, social communication scheduling is code word for automation. Also consider that Facebook has a global audience, so you, you might want to plan around the time zone of your key market. So as an example, if you've got a large uh, customer base in Hawaii, you might want to be marketing not only at 1 to 3 your time, but also 1 to 3 Hawaiian standard time. Does that make sense, guys? Can I get it? Definitely. Yes? Oh, yeah, Man, definitely. There we go. There we go. All right. So 11. On Thursdays and Fridays, engagement is 18% higher. Now, what that means, guys, write this note. Thursdays and Fridays, engagement is higher. What that means is more people are liking more people are commenting, more people are sharing. Uh, and obviously the implication, again, use this information to determine when to post in order to optimize your social media marketing efforts. Remember, write these notes down, guys, because this is going to help you win the marketing battle. On Thursdays and Fridays, engagement is 18% higher. So when I say that, what does that mean? You want to also be posting every Thursday and Friday at what time, guys? Anybody? One to three. We got to come off. We got to come off mute. One to three. There we go. So one to three. One to three p.m. Whether you're Central Standard, whether you're Eastern Standard, whether you're Pacific Standard, 
you want to make sure you're posting Thursdays and Fridays. And if you don't have time to post, that's why we show you how to automate. Now, there are 83 million fake profiles. That's just part of Facebook, right? The takeaway, nothing is perfect, so always remain thoughtful and strategic in your efforts. Also, fake or not, these are still potential consumers. There are various reasons for, for fake profiles, including professionals doing testing and research, and people who want to segment the segment and use more than a possible one account. Now, that's, that's pretty powerful right there where it says, uh, and people who want to segment their Facebook use more than is possible with one account. Remember what I told you guys? Whoever's got that background noise, please mute your phone out. Thank you very much. Uh, remember, guys, if you have just one Facebook page, you can't post as much if you had two or three or four, right? So this is a per perfect segue in to show you that there's a lot of people that are marketing with, a, with another Facebook profile. Uh, photo uploads total 300 million per day. The implications, again, this is, this is an indication of engaged users. Also, it is an indication that there are a lot of photos as well as other information competing for users' attention. So target your efforts strategically. Remember, people are going to inter interact with your posts a lot more if you have a photo, right, and you have a, a short, concise message. If you write a novel, they're just going to blast right by it. So the average time spent per, per Facebook visit is 20 minutes. Uh, what this means for you, you can have a short time period to make your impression so use it wisely with relevant, interesting, and unique posts and offers in order to get the most return on your efforts. Remember, guys, what I told you about marketing. You want to make it concise to the point with some pictures or videos because that's going to engage your consumer and that's going to get them to want to click or get on your list. Every, second, every 60 seconds on Facebook, 510 comments are posted. 293,000 statuses are updated and 136,000 photos are uploaded. The implication, again, there are a lot of engaged and active users, but also a huge amount of information competing for their attention. So quality and strategy uh, on your part, or on your part matter. 4.75 billion pieces of content shared daily as of May 2013, which is a 94% increase from August 2012. 50% of 18 to 24-year-olds 24, uh, 24 go on Facebook when they wake up. I mean, literally, some people smoke cigarettes when they wake up. Some people go work out. Uh, these kids that are 18, 24, the very first thing they do is look at their Facebook. They don't even brush their teeth. They literally go to Facebook. What this means for you, Facebook is important to these users and potentially if done correctly, so is the content you post on it. So only one in five page views in the United States occurs on Facebook. How this helps you, this is a huge market on the web. If you use social media marketing efforts on Facebook, well, you could have huge returns to show for it. And remember, 42% of marketers report that Facebook is critical or important to their business. It is to mine, guys. I've made uh, hundreds of thousands of dollars off Facebook since I started. And literally, if, if I would have never given the time to learn how to market on here, I would have never gotten to the point where I'm at, where I'm, I'm pretty much a guru at marketing on Facebook. So literally, the takeaway is this is a crowded marketplace, but you can't afford to sit it out because the odds are fairly high that your competition is there. The key is to use Facebook marketing correctly and make sure that your efforts stand out from the crowd. 16 million local business pages have been created as of May 2013, which is a 100% increase from 8 million in June 2012. Facebook marketing has transformed how business is conducted, and its use by local businesses to extend their markets continues to explode. Remember, guys, why did I tell you all to, to start a business page? Because literally, that's how people really connect with you and, and interact with you, because they understand that page is there to help them either figure out a problem in their life get a service, purchase a product, or make money. So a thought to take with you, at 1.49 billion, Facebook has more monthly active users than WhatsApp, 500 million, Twitter, 284 million, and Instagram, 200 million combined. Facebook continues to reign in popularity over the social media channels. I mean, literally, guys, those stats are ridiculous. They're, they're literally ridiculous. And again, this is why today's training is focusing on Facebook, because I want everybody that has a Facebook to understand they can win big time on their Facebook if they just learn simple marketing tricks and metrics. So now, guys, let me show you how I build all these funnel pages and autoresponders, because ultimately what I want you to understand is there's a lot of automation involved in what we do. And again, I'll provide all these tools to everybody so when they're ready, if somebody's going to integrate these services, they can actually also make the money from the software companies.
so this is the conversion pros, guys. This is the – I've worked directly with uh, Mr. David Dubs in the past. Uh, he's been to the top of eight MLM companies, which is ridiculous. He's a freaking uh, – he's a, a superstar when it comes to automating marketing. And the reason why is because he literally automates everything just like what we're going to be doing. Can everybody see my screen? Everybody, everybody? Okay. So literally, guys, the, inside the Conversion Pros, we have autoresponders. We have landing pages. You can order leads. Uh, obviously, you can get paid for sharing uh, this software with other people. Like I said, this is not an MLM company. Uh, what the Conversion Pros does is they're, they're basically a software company that has like an affiliate marketing uh, program built into it. Um, if you look at the TCP marketing suite, this is where I build all my landing pages, all my mobile websites. I've got a contact manager where I can see all my leads, an autoresponder where I can actually just send out information automatically to those leads, an email broadcaster, a QR code builder, an invoice tool, a blogging platform, a link rotator, a tiny URL system. We've got generic marketing videos, local marketing videos, I mean, this thing is from A to Z, you get everything. Uh, and then coming soon, obviously, uh, he's working on SMS broadcasting, a voicemail broadcaster, and an auto dialer. So that's something that will happen in the future. But just so you can see, guys, like literally, if we went to contact manager, The beautiful thing about this system is not only can you build funnel pages, autoresponders, I mean, literally, you can contact them in real time, right? But just so you can see, do, can everybody see my screen? Let me make it. Yes, easy. I can see it. Okay, I just want to show you something. Okay, so these are all the people that I have right now that are leads for plus profit, plus profit, plus profit, plus profit, plus profit, plus profit, solar, plus profit, plus profit, solar, plus profit, plus profit, plus profit, plus profit, and then some unknowns, right? But I mean, just look at this, guys. Does everybody see all these leads? You was able to connect two different programs under this system, or you you can connect as many programs as you want. So you have a so a lot of us that are on this phone call right now have multiple home based businesses or multiple brick and mortar businesses. Uh, on this, as you can tell, the lander right, the lander tells you what were they interested in. So here, Mr. Calhoun was interested in plus profit. Uh, Mr. Toma was interested in plus profit. Uh, Joe, whatever, that's just uh, somebody that wanted to see the video, so that's not really a lead. Um, but literally, Victor Gutierrez, plus profit. Joy Lou, plus profit. Tamika Shell, plus profit. So let's say, as an example, anybody that was involved in any other company, whether it's Amazon, Amway, Janess, Infinii, Davida, uh, you can set up your landers to be anything you want them. So as an example, let's say if I went to the landing page builder, right? But obviously, everybody saw those leads, right? So when I say build a list, that's what I'm doing. Okay. And actually, before I do that, let me show you. Let me show you something that's even. They'll blow your mind. Because I, I want you to notice that just like I tell you, I practice what I preach. I'm telling y'all to do what? Build a list. Why? Because opt-in marketing is way more valuable than just people that you don't know. You don't know what they want, right? So I totally forgot to do this real quick. So I go back to contact, contact manager because I want you to see this, Floyd. Because this will absolutely just blow your mind when you see this. So again, you, you see all those all those landers, right? All these people are just leads, right? But if we go all the way to the bottom,
I mean, look at this, guys. I got 10 pages of people that are leads. And anytime, and some advice, anytime that you start a, a landing page, you want to put your information in so that you can follow the marketing. So anytime you start any kind of lander, you want to follow your own marketing. Does that make sense? Explain that a little more detail, because I, I I don't I don't understand. I'm better to tell you now versus this is why we only train it. So, well, what how, how do you explain that for me a little more? This is Floyd. Okay, Floyd. What was your question? You said, does that make sense in terms of you want to uh, 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 follow your own uh, landing? I don't I don't understand the statement you made on that. Okay, so as an example, let's say that uh, let's say that you start a landing page, right, Floyd? Like let's say you okay. build a let's say you build a lander. What's a lander? A landing page, like a sales funnel. Like when I clicked on my marketing inside of Facebook and it popped up those pages. Right. So as an example, this is a landing page for plus profit. So when people go to this page, it's it's a it's a landing sales page. Does that make sense, Floyd? So now you understand right. what a landing page is? Right. right. It's your squeeze page. Exactly. The squeeze page, the page, page, right. sales page. Okay. Okay. But then the, the, what I was trying to tell you is you want to follow your own marketing, right? So if you're setting up autoresponders, you're setting up funnel pages, you want to know what's going out. So you can see it how it, how it looks aesthetically. So if you see you need right. to change a message maybe because the message just maybe wasn't congruent to what you really were thinking. Okay, I get it. Okay. Okay, so my computer is, is working really slowly right now because obviously there's a lot of people online. Right, that's how I figured. <laughs> uh, no worries. I've got I've got an AT and T forty five megabits per second, which is extremely fast. But around this time, around two o'clock, it just happens where you know, we have a ton of people online. So here we go. Like they say, one so to three people. Page, right? And what I meant by you want to follow your own marketing. So right here, Floyd. Let's say I did Floyd Harding F A H. What's what's the rest? F A H worldwide. Worldwide at Gmail, right. Let's just put, I'll put my number there. And voila. So now if this was, if this was Floyd Harding's page, now he would do what? He would be following his own marketing, right? Right. And you understand why you, you want to follow your own marketing. You want to make sure that everything that's going out. And so if you have, when you have email, because uh, you can set up your emails to go out within 24 hours, within 48 hours, within 72 hours. You can set how many emails go out to these people. And you see how it takes them directly to the Plus Profit website? Right. But again, now you're on my list, right? So now you'll be able, like when I send something out to the Plus Profit uh, list that I'm building, you'll see it in real time. Okay. Okay. And then obviously, what, what do you do when you see it? You can copy it, just change the contact details, and put it into your own autoresponder. Okay. Now, how much is this autoresponder program? Uh, this, this program right here, the Conversion Pros, is $50 a month. They give you seven days for free to try it out for $1. Okay. One buck. But as you can tell, you, you can't get all these, you can't get landing pages, mobile site builders, a contact manager, which basically is a CRM, uh, autoresponder uh, builder, email broadcasting, QR codes. You can invoice people on this. So a lot of y'all that sell products, you can, you can create invoices for them. 
blogging platform, link rotator, tiny URLs, marketing videos, you name it, right? And then you can even purchase leads, order leads of people that are responsive to starting a home-based business. And they're very, very, the leads are very good, but they're also very cost uh, affordable. So if you look at this. I have a question. Yes, sir. Um, so do you have to input the leads in one at a time or if you have if you have a bunch of leads uh, already, people you know, can you upload them all at one time? Or do you have to do them one at a time? Uh, so you're gonna you're gonna upload leads into your system or you're gonna buy leads? You gotta be a little more specific. If I have already a CLV lead of people I know, do I have to put them in one at a time, or can I upload them as a file into the system? Can I can I just uh, give you some advice? Do you are all these opt-in sure. leads, or these these are people? Right, uh, I have I have opt-in leads. To them? Correct. They have. That's that's correct. Okay, so then you could you could enter them. Uh, you can. The reason why we shy away from stuff like that is because a lot of times people can spam people that way. And obviously, we're we're trying to teach you opt-in marketing. So if if you're not getting their permission and they receive your information, they click spam. A lot of your content in the future is going to go directly to everybody spam folder. Does that make sense? So if I if I personally even if I gave you permission but let's say it's 2 weeks later and I don't remember and as soon as I click on spam on your email now all these every everything from Gmail to Yahoo to MSN they're going to start recognizing your emails as spam. So that's why I personally always recommend that you get permission from them, you build these funnel pages and you send it to them so they can cuz literally remember they're tracking their IP addresses. Does that make sense? I mean you, Literally, could you do it? Yes, you could, but in the long term, uh, if you want long term success, you want them to opt in from their IP addresses. Does that make sense? That's just some advice. And, and, uh, and I've seen it go both ways, right? I've seen people where, and no matter what they send in the future from that uh, email address, it just goes directly into clutter or spam. Because they, they input all those uh, leads in themselves. Hey, Amen. Okay. okay. And it's just some advice, my brother. You can do whatever you want, right? It's your it's your lead list, but it's just that I would much rather you have a clean opt-in or even double opt-in list because those people are more receptive. That's what I was going to ask you. How, how fresh are the leads that that we purchase? Oh, they're they're uh, the they're they're actually instantaneous, my brother. They they are less than 24 hours old and if you look at the packages you know 50 costs you pretty much 88 cents that's 44 dollars a package they've got 100 for 85 cents that's 85 i mean they're very reasonable all the way to the oh people that are the big heavy hitters that need you know a ton of leads they got you know 1.8 thousand for 75 cents so i would tell people you know in the future when you actually have your marketing automated and you're set up and you have a, a landing page and autoresponder set up then obviously start with like, you know, 50 leads or 100 leads. That way you can actually communicate with them because what happens is you don't want to just put a bunch of leads into your, because what's going to happen is they're going to put it into your platform, right? And uh, as they put it into your platform, they're going to be receiving all your targeted emails. Because remember, these are all opt-in marketers. These, these people that are requesting, they're, all those IPs are clean, they're scrubbed, and they're they're options, so it's not going to go into their spam folder. It's going to go directly into their inbox. Okay. Okay. Any questions on that, guys? Hmm. No. Now you said Mr. David Dubs uh, is responsible for this uh, marketing program. Yeah, he's one of the he's one of the founders, one of the owners. So you know, a couple couple months back, we sat down and talked about this. So I told him I was using Aweber, I was using uh, Mailchimp, I was using a bunch of different programs, but it was expensive. And so he said that he was going to get a program together for fifty dollars, where it was very robust, uh, and then obviously provide leads 
so that people can build any kind of business. It doesn't matter what, what they, whether it's an affiliate marketing business, whether it's a, a direct sales MLM, whether it's a brick and mortar, right? Like literally, uh, he was going to show people how to market, how to use these tools, and he's done a phenomenal job with the system. So now that everybody has seen, you know, how we can automate marketing, how we can build a business globally, does anybody have any questions? Because it is a lot of information. Uh, you will get the link to the YouTube video. But what do you think, guys? It's pretty exciting, right? Oh, yeah. This is clearly good information. Oh, yeah. I mean, literally, guys, I want everybody to win. And a lot of you on here have multiple businesses. So if you learn how to automate this, you're going to win even more. Why? Because as you yeah. sleep, your marketing does not sleep. Okay. Okay. So it is 226, guys. I, I've, I've had you on here for a while. I, I, like I said, it's going to be a, a lot of steak and lobster today. I hope you, you found a lot of value in this. Uh, everybody that's on this webinar, if you don't have my direct line, you can contact me directly at area code 214-770-9600. Again, 214-770-9600. Ninety-nine. Feel free to shoot me a text message if you want to. If you want to start using the software, uh, let me consult with you, show you what you need to do, because I want you to get off to a freaking meteoric start. Like as soon as you learn how to automate this, you can start marketing and getting people finding you. They're coming to you, not the other way around. Now, do I still want you working organically? Of course. There's nothing more powerful than a connection with somebody uh, where they know who you are. And, and they can actually sit down with you face-to-face. -face. That is the most powerful form of marketing. But I do teach online marketing because literally there's nothing like leverage compression of time and information. You never find anything like it. So that being said, guys, if there's no questions, I'm going to end this webinar. Uh, do we have any questions? How are we going to get the video? Uh, I'll send a link. So obviously everybody has my direct line, right? 214 seven seven zero ninety six ninety nine I'll repeat it two one four seven seven zero ninety six ninety nine text me uh after this webinar make sure you text me that way I can provide a link for you when once I encode this webinar I can send you a copy of the webinar and also we can discuss you using these tools to automate your marketing for twenty sixteen and beyond. Did you get that, Doc? You got okay. my, my personal number? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else, guys? Everybody have my number? Yes, sir. Perfect. All right, guys. Well, look, it's a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Make sure you take advantage of it with your family and understand that you're bound by nothing. You can accomplish anything you set your mind and your heart to. And obviously empower other people because there's a lot of people out there looking to win. And they can't win without you, right? So literally, we're in the business of helping people. So go out and help somebody win in 2016. This, this webinar is now adjourned. I thank each and every one of you for your hard work. Do not forget that we have a conference call for Plus Profit tonight. Uh, if you don't have the link, make sure you get with the person that invited you to this webinar so that we can invite more people and help them win. Thank you very much, guys. God bless, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.